Sometimes it's something in a misty rain that gently touches my soul. Ginger beer. It cools the fire that burns in me. And I simply lose control. So just rain, Tasha. I mean, rain, Tamika, her money. Let the funds just fall like raindrops rain. Her coin as well as candies and tinies. Let the coins just shower them. Just give them they coin. Child, it's a damn shame. A sin and a shame. It's a sin and a shame. Can't trust nobody. Sin and a shame. So y'all, I ain't, I ain't even about to be here before y'all long, child. This is the last day of rest and relaxation before I head back to the salt mass tomorrow or whatever, because I'm feeling so much damn better. As y'all can see, <coughs> I got up early. Um, I had to tie my hair up, girl, because I forgot to do it last night and I woke up and it looked like buckwheat. So I, I, I had to pull her together. So that's why I'm giving Aunt Jamama realness. But we ain't even here to talk about that. My hair ain't as tied as Tasha and Rocky is. So if y'all didn't see last night's episode, and if you did, now nah, I'm blaming it because they want all that. But you missed the real good part at the end of this. And that was Tasha once again being exposed with receipts by her damn sister. So if y'all don't know, last night during the episode, at the very end of the episode, Escape meets up once again to finally talk. I knew from the beginning when they first walked in that it was something going on. It was some off because you could tell it when it came to Tamika and you could tell it when it came to Candy. Tasha seemed to be in much better spirits. And we find out why, because she was not only dicking over her sister, but dicking over her other two bandmates. So I guess when you in the process of dicking hoes over, you it, it would put a smile on your face while the whole time you trying to take other people's place backstabbers. I don't like them. Come to find out from Tiny, I mean, from Tamika, per a promoter, that Tasha, Rocky, as well as Tasha, was basically juggling the books and creating sad deals where they can create and curate more money for them while the group gets the lease. But meanwhile, they need those girls to even get what it is that they want. Because, see, apparently they don't want Tasha by her damn self. They wanted all of the girls. So I'm about to let you guys hear exactly what the accusation was. I'm going to let y'all hear from Candy Pants' mouth. I'm not going to let y'all see it because I ain't got time for Bravo come to me trying to take my coin, girl. And so I'm about to let y'all listen. So listen up. Put your, put your listening ears on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm trying to get her. Hold up, girl. Hold up, girl. I'm, try I'm trying to pull her up. All right, y'all know I got a Samsung. Here go. Hold on. Shut up. All right. Shut up, bitch. All right. I'm about to play you. And you loud anyway. I'm about to play you guys what Candy said. So here you go. Basically, Rocky was working with the promoter for Tasha to get us on board to agree to do that promoter shows. And in turn, he was giving Rocky a kickback or an extra fee on top of whatever he was paying us. And Rocky replies, I'm with you. That's why I'm showing her that you got me because she is the one who is going to make all them listen. Basically. All right, Candy. All right. So that's basically what a kickback is in, in a group standing. He's the promo or a manager or whatever. And instead of him curating deals for all of the girls to get the maximum coin that they can, he's only concerned about Tasha. And it ain't even him being concerned about Tasha. It's him being concerned about himself. He needs Tasha. 
But if it came down to it, I don't even think he would even do it for her. It's about him, 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 him. And that is why the both of them are trash. So I'm about to read to you guys a small portion of the text message that I was able to get. Um, and it says, and this this is coming from Rocky. Okay, this is coming from Rocky. This is what Rocky was texting the guy in question. He says, we working on her right now. I have I have ultimate bait. I have ultimate bait for her. You have to say yes, and it will probably work. We still we still good on our deal. Also for these five shows, I explained to my wife Tasha that you are my guide, like Jeff Mana guy, and they didn't keep their word with me. So no matter what, we're gonna go with you or she's not doing anything. So you can shoot me $20,000 so I can so I can show her I just showed her you already sent me $10,000. So so she gets it now. I got you on my guy, trust me. I want to make money. I want to make money for us all. The guy says we will discuss the deal is for all four ladies. I will look out for you, but I need all four ladies. And then that's when Candy read the rest of the text messages over what you just saw, where it said he's get that he definitely needs Tasha to get all of the other ladies of Escape on board to do the shows. Basically, he don't want just Tasha. He don't want her. Now, as great as Tasha can sing, as great as Tasha sounds, all of them Zion Baptist uh, church runs that she do, all them Kojic runs, them Kojic second soprano runs way up in the rafters and all of that, not even that was enough. Not even her with that alone was enough to get the deal done. She needs those ladies. Moreover, she needs her sister. And what's fucked up about this whole thing is at the beginning of the episode, like I say, Y'all was sitting there hugging each other, embracing each other. You miss your sister. You miss the sisterhood. Y'all always going to be sisters. You need her. It's all of this and it's all that. Yeah, you need her. Right, you need her so that you can get the maximum coin while your sister and the rest of these girls are the... And, and, and people came under my comments last night talking about some SWV want to... Uh, want to do this or do that, and, and, and but but don't want to put forth the leg work and all of the rest of this stuff. Nah, I don't agree with that, but I do agree with that when it comes to Tasha. Because as y'all can see, it was those three ladies that was in the studio beforehand working. It was those three ladies that was in the um, dance studio doing what they need to do. It was those three ladies that was doing all of the vocal lessons and so on and so forth. So, I mean, while y'all trying to say that for SWV and, 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 and you can kiss my ass with that, all of that that y'all was trying to give SWV, I think that goes to Tasha. Because it isn't fair that these three ladies are putting in all of this work. You got your sister working double time, singing your part and hers. But then you sitting around here curating deals in the background that's not beneficial to them, but beneficial to you. But you love your sister and you miss her and you will never take from. This is another instance of you taking and stealing from your sister. It is not only from her, but from your bandmate. Like I say, Rocky is going to be your undoing. And I'm going to tell you something, Tasha. And I'm going to end it with this. Because I keep telling you, see, see, since you believe in the Lord and you believe in the God the Father and you believe that he died on the cross for your sins on Calvary and we all finna shout down next Sunday for Resurrection Sunday like we always do um, on Resurrection Sunday. You know, we don't go to church and we don't shout and speak of tongues no other time until it's Resurrection Sunday. Y'all know how folk do. You believe in all of that, right? And you singing about that. You got this whole record deal with, with Motown Gospel, and you're singing about this and you're singing about that. I, again, I would love to know what these people think of you now. Because I'm more than sure they watch the show. And I'm more than sure anybody with real business sense or business savvy in, in the record business, they feel a way about it. This is not a good look. Tasha, especially 
the fact that you up here breaking all of the seven deadly sins, girl, but you sitting over here trying to sing to these people's souls, bitch. Y'all, that's it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more to give y'all. Y'all drop down because she about to run my pressure up sky damn high. And I ain't got no time to be stroking out around here worse than what Rocky made that man stroke out when he pulled that you know what out on him. Um, and all of the rest of that stuff. Again, I say it's going to be lonely at the top, Tasha. Even if you get everything that you feel as though you want to get out of this, it's going to be real lonely at the top. Because you're going to have everything you want, but you're going to be by your damn self. Because once Rocky finish using you up and throwing you to the side like a used cum rag in the corner, he going to go around there and spend all that hard-earned money of yours <laughs> on them hoes. And don't come crying to us, girl, because I don't care. I'm telling you right now, don't come crying to me, girl. I ain't got nothing for you. I ain't got nothing for you. It is what it is. Unique. And all of them other bitches going to be reaping the benefits of all your faithful years of services uh, 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 and, 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 and schemes and scams that you had going on with that man. And other women is going to reap the benefits. I'm gone. All right, because I got to go to Juanita Bumper Curl so she could do so. Juanita can do something about this shag rug that I call her. And um, yeah, I'll holler at y'all later. Basketball wise ain't coming, as y'all can see. I ain't fooling with them no more. And don't nothing come on on Monday nights. So don't look for me no more, child. I will see y'all tomorrow for the roast and review that's going to be on Scotty's channel tomorrow night at 8 15, I believe. 8 15, 8 30 ish. Maybe nine-ish. I don't know. It it depends on Scotty's work schedule or whatever. He also got the Boss Babe Awards coming up. And I don't know if 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 we gonna be doing it, you know, or not, but I I'm promoting it anyway. So uh be on the lookout for it either way. And with that, I'm gone. Fotasha really pissed me off and I say something to her ass. Bye.